Hello everyone. I am Ankur Gupta and I work with Mindfast Solutions as a Java developer. This is my second video on Jasper reports. In this video, I will talk about how to make simple Jasper report using the iReport tool and also utilizing the sample database. Now, the, my point of using sample database is initially the backend is not set up. So, in order to view simple uh, aspects and all the simple functionalities of iReport 2 you could use the sample database which is it provided initially with, along with the iReport so follow this tutorial in order to make a simple report using the sample database I have this the Jasper iReport designer 4.7.0 and I have enabled the Sample, uh, sample database by going to help samples and run sample database. So just create a new report and let me rename it to demo report. I'm saving the report onto my documents. So this is how the new uh, report looks like a blank empty report this has a structure of containing several bands like title page header column header detail column footer de page footer and summary uh, you could see the same thing in the report inspector which uh, lists all the values all the nodes basically the bands in form of nodes so this will display the elements inside the inside each of the bands in the form of node or tree structure basically this is called palette this is a palette with where wherein you could drag the you can drag the elements like break eclipse ellipse image list spider chart etc and lot more tools and and this is the background property properties basically whatever you click upon this is a properties window so you could arrange these windows according, according to your need and requirement so uh, moving on to this designer this is the designer perspective which you are viewing as i have talked in the previous video this report is created into form of an xml xml like you could see the all the report is written all here in xml you could modify it from here also the preview shows it into a into a i report into a new preview or you could like from here export to a pdf or n number of things like wherever you want to export this is an query report query so this basically is the report query wherein we will key in our query for that we need a database so i have already enabled the sample database let me choose one this is the data source uh, so I'm just using in the in this video I'm just using the sample database here I selected it so let me just write the query select star from orders this is a table which is already there if you want to if we want to view the view the value like in the database you could just see the refresh preview data from here so these are all the values over here so see how you key in the values from here uh, this all the all the columns are listed as in as in fields so I will do an ok so let me just put a title we could uh, like resize these uh, bands with these handles so let me just drag a static text like to put in the title of the report so this is in fact a demo report so I double click on this element and just write demo report so let me just enter a line and do it bold just increase the size a little bit so it's visible so I drag it over here oops 
Yes. So the query which key, we keyed in over here, select star from orders. Now what we can do is like we could see the fields that are listed over here. So whichever field you want, suppose I am taking order ID, ship via, flight, ship city, ship region, and ship countries. I have done this by holding control and clicking simultaneously. So let me just drag it into the details band. Yes. Now I report does this automatically. Like if we have placed this order ID over here, it will uh, put this header uh, correspondingly, the column header basically. So let me just minimize the right. mm. column footer might be uh, the sum of the the like interim things some of these uh, values column footer is like a that so for now we don't need it so we could just minimize it page footer in page footer i will just put this page number so here is the page number uh, yes so this is a page number that's it the report is done here let us preview it. So here is the preview. See how it's simple is to review our data into it. So you could see it's page one of 26. And now you could just simply save it if you want to. Like in documents, I will save it into a PDF format, uh, calling it test run and save it. simple now let me just create an input control input control means like to uh, like we could see n number of things but uh, suppose a filter it's kind of so let me put a filter on ship via so let me create a parameter you could right click on this parameter node and add a parameter name it ship via Uh, we would uh, change it to integer type as we will key in one, two, or three. Yes, we need it as in prompt, so we will re keep it checked. Default, we will give nothing. For description, this is a filter of for ship view. That's it. This is created. Now we need to add the same constraint in the query. So in the where clause, we need to add the constraint on ship via. So in the where clause, we will write if ship via is equal to, we will simply drag this parameter to here. You see, that's it. So now if we will preview this, it asks shipware. This is the filter for shipware. So we'll enter it too. So we will want whichever values, whichever order the shipware two number, that should be displayed. So if we hit OK, here we see all the orders which are shipware two. So this is as simple as putting this, uh, this simple uh, logic putting into this this filters so this filters could be n number of filters so that's it so in the next video i will tell you about one thing more let me just show you in the documents thing this was a demo report.jrxml file i will just zoom it this is a demo report.jrxml which is our report and this is the demo report.jasper file. Now, this is the, the XML which has been compiled, uh, the compiled form of the XML, which is called the dot .jasper file. And this is the PDF we exported, if you remember. This is how it looks in the PDF. So, isn't it sweet? Like simply getting the values from the database and converting it into a PDF. So, that's it.
thank you if you like my video you could follow me my twitter handle is ankur underscore aug my facebook profile if you want to visit in there and my blog ankur the techie dot blogspot dot in thank you for watching my video you could also visit the official website of mindfire solutions on www.mindfiresolutions.com and even post views and comments on my video and if you have some queries or questions you can also put them in comments i will love to answer them thank you